Hello and welcome in. My name is Tony. This is a help video for streamers, uh, specifically for streamers that are missing messages from their viewers, basically not noticing that someone has said something to you. Uh, because let's face it, I definitely have done it when I'm streaming. I've missed messages and been like, oh, hey, uh, about that. And they're gone. And uh, of course, on the flip, I've been in someone's stream and like typed something, waited a minute, waited two minutes. I'm like, okay, they are super into this game and I'm not getting a reply. So I'm going to bounce out. And obviously that's not a marketing strategy that we want to deploy because uh, that's not going to build your community. That's going to be the opposite because no one wants to be ignored, uh, not on purpose at least. So I do need to bring up the fact that there are many, many God tier level streamers out there that exuberate the ability to see, to be the all seeing eye and have the most impressive multitask ability and basically react to everything that's in their stream on the spot. Uh, yeah, this video is not for you. This video is geared towards uh, more new streamers or people that need a little audio cue to say, hey, uh, somebody in your chat is talking to you. You should talk to them. Okay, next steps. Super simple. You're going to need the software called Chatty. Uh, okay, I will say this. Chatty is very cool and it has a lot of other features that uh, besides just playing you an audio prompt when someone types in your Twitch chat. But uh, clearly that's what this video is about. So we're focusing on that. Um, here's the official description of what Chatty is. Uh, Chatty is a chat software specifically made for Twitch in the spirit of a classic IRC client. It runs on Windows and any other operating system that supports Java 8 or later. Uh, that's directly from their website. And of course, the download link will be in the video description below. So check it out there, install it, and make sure it can interact with your Twitch channel. Okay, so you've downloaded, you've installed, and you've configured your uh, Chatty client to work with your Twitch channel. Uh, we're in. Go up to main. Go to settings. Left side. All the way down. Notifications. Check it out. You got three windows. Event, desktop notifications, and sound. Now yours probably doesn't have any because it's brand new. Click on the plus. Drop down menu. Click that. You're going to select chat message. Uh, for future exploration, check out all the other stuff you can configure here. So it's kind of cool. Come back later on and mess with it. Uh, I'm hitting cancel because mine's already set up and I'm just going to show you mine. So chat message. Uh, desktop notification. I have mine turned off. What happens if you turn it on? You would see every single chat message. Could that be overkill? Yes. Um, let's say you only have one monitor or you alt tab out to something else, or you're looking at your phone or like an iPad next to you. So maybe then it's not overkill. It'd be kind of handy to have every single chat message pop up and, uh, on the screen. Now it's small, by the way, it will be a top, right, top, left, bottom, right, bottom, left, wherever you pick. Uh, it's not that big. I'll show you in a second. But we're here. This is the gold. Here's the audio cue. We're going to click on sound. Double click. Uh, you can see the event. Here's the chat message. I have uh, clicked here my own messages as well. So if I type to myself, I'm still hearing my little audio cue. Um, status is always enabled. You're going to click here for the sound file that you are selecting. Now, I recommend something short, staccato, not super distracting, just straight into the point. Here's what mine sounds like. It's the, the it's like the it's it's the the stereotypical boop sound. Now here's the thing, I've had this, <laughs> I've had that for like three years. I can like pick that out of a crowd. I definitely know when someone's talking to me. Okay, and if I do miss a chat message, still, then that's extremely my bad. But this definitely helps. Every time I hear that, I know someone has said something in the stream. So you would hit save. Now, let's go back to here. What does this mean? Chat message drumroll, Tony. Okay, this is kind of handy. Uh, I have it always enabled for desktop notifications and I have it always enabled with the boop. So uh, let's say we're down here. Someone's typing to us and like, here's the test. Test again. You can hear the boop. Okay. Now, granted, that's only me hearing that. That's not the stream. And I'll show you how in a second. But uh, let's say someone says, hey, uh, what up? <laughs> I, I can type. You can see that. Uh, how's the stream? Drum roll Tony. And drum roll Tony is the key word here. Boom. You can see at the top right, suddenly I have this little green thing here that's showing me the text. Here's the cue, drumroll Tony, and it says, here's the message. Now, uh, previously when I said you could have every message do that, that's what it would look like. You can obviously pick the color. But for me, I want every time someone says my stream name, drumroll Tony, I want that to fade up. Now, uh, I'm not a big streamer. If I was a big streamer, that might be extremely overkill and it'd be way too much. But for where I am right now, it's kind of nice. Okay, we are at the final step. Uh, we're going to set it up so only you can hear the boop or whatever <laughs> whatever audio cue you have in your headset and the entire stream does not have to hear it. Uh, I obviously will tell you in my beginning days, I didn't have any software or any physical uh, um, uh, mixers. So 
everyone heard everything they said they didn't mind uh i cared though i didn't want everyone to have to hear it but um probably better than missing a chat message so it was still a win so the way i do it now for my go xlr mixer i have the output of chatty go into one of the channels and uh that channel is not fed directly into the broadcast stream mix it's only fed into my uh, headset so i can adjust the fader and have the volume of the little boop sound be as loud or as quiet as i want it and it works great uh only i hear it they don't hear it um before i had a go xlr mixer i had voice meter banana which is a digital audio mixer if uh you want to install that you would just google voice meter banana and i would highly recommend youtubing some videos on how to set it up it is confusing in the beginning um, voice meter banana worked fine for me for a long time. Um, I am a musician and there were some issues with latency. So that's why I stopped using that. But for this works great, totally great. And, uh, you set it up for the channel where it only comes back to your headset and is not, um, sent out to the stream. So, uh, it's really simple and chatty to set that up and here's how you do it. All right. Get your chatty software back out. Same process as before, except now we're going to tell it where to send the audio signal. So only you hear it. Uh, main settings all the way down left side notifications except this time we're going to sound notification settings uh, second little thing down here output device for me it's chat 2 on my go xlr so now the software knows that's where it's sending the audio signal from this program uh, here's what it looks like on my routing map this is the go xlr routing here you can see here's the chat the chat channel this is only being sent to my headphones, okay? This is only my headphones. I do not have the broadcast stream mix checked. If I did, everybody hears it. I uncheck it, only I hear it. Uh, same type of approach on uh, voice meter banana. You would have a channel that is only going to your headphones or whatever physical mixer or other uh, digital audio mixer that you're using. That's all we got to do. We are done. We did it. We're done. We're at the end of the video. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you got some value out of this video, please and thank you. Click the like and subscribe button. Um, if you do the audio, um, if you send the audio out a different way or your, your way is completely different, let me know in the comments. Like I always say, a variety is a spice of life. There's so many ways to do similar things. I would love to learn about it. My name is Tony. I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm live Sunday through Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time until late. Would love to meet you. All right. Have a good one. Take it easy.